Here are 10 things guys do that women love in secret. You usually think of a certain kind of draw when you think about it. Most likely, the first one that comes to mind hits you hard and fast. It's the feeling you get when you see someone who makes your jaw drop. It's the kind that takes you by surprise when someone does something big for you. It's what makes love at first look happen. It's the kind of attraction that makes you want to swoon. In love movies, the meet cute makes the girl nervous and unable to say much. When you read romance and erotica wear a plane, shy girl meets a guy who charms her by saying and doing all the right things, you can feel it coming off the page. It's even better when you see it for yourself. You can get a hint of it when you come across a thirst trap that makes you stop scrolling for a while so you can look at their picture. When you see someone in public who makes you look at them until you realize you've been looking awkwardly at a stranger for too long, you know it. You can tell you have it when even a short conversation with someone makes you nervous and gives you butterflies. When something pulls you in that much, you have to stop and pay attention. It makes you remember the person who made you feel that way. It can also go by very quickly. That pull is very strong, but it can almost as quickly go away as it came. You can lose it as a relationship goes on, when you get used to someone and their looks don't make you feel the same way. During a date, you might lose it when you realize that you can't even keep up a talk with this hottie. Almost as soon as you feel it, you can lose it if they do something that shows they are heartless, rude, or uncaring. So. If you want to go anywhere with someone, you also need to keep attracting them. An attraction that lasts is more subtle. You don't always notice it when you're feeling it, but when it's not there, you usually do. But that's the only thing that can keep you interested for a long time. Big acts and being spontaneous are great ways to keep things fresh and interesting, but it's the little things that keep people interested over time. These little things are what make you keep looking at your partner with deep respect that sometimes turns into lust. They make you feel safe and at ease enough that you can be yourself around them. They show you what kind of person your partner is. It's what keeps your sexual drive alive and makes you want to move a relationship forward. It's also what you have to do if you want your date to become your partner or if you want your relationship to stay strong and hot over time. These are the small things that a lot of us look for if we want to make ourselves more attractive to women. They're the ones that make us feel at ease, loved, and very interested in you. He lets her know how he feels. This one might seem strange at first, but it's important to a lot of women. Many women say that they can't talk to their boyfriend or husband about things that bother, anger, or upset them because they immediately try to solve the problem. The trouble is that we don't always try to find answers. Sometimes we know exactly what we're going to do about a situation, and all we want to do is talk about it, share how it makes us feel, and let off some steam. That's why we love it when a guy is willing to listen and vent with us. We don't want advice on how to solve the problems, we just want to be heard. Sometimes, all we want to do is talk it out. We want to feel like the person we're talking to about our problems is on our side. When a guy starts giving answers right away, it seems like he's trying to shut down what you're saying. Like he doesn't want to talk and wants to end the chat. Also, letting off steam and showing understanding are both beautiful traits. He has no reason to touch her. It's easy to feel like you're not physically close to someone. Even if you have a lot of sex and get touchy when you're horny, it can make you feel a little far away now and then. Touching her gently up and down her arm, rubbing her back, and playing with her hair might not make her feel as excited as when you touch her during foreplay, but she will still love it. It's not about passion, it's about showing that you still want to touch her even when the passion is gone. It shows her that you want to touch her even when it's not sexual or will not lead to sex. These are the little things that show her how much you care and love her. It makes her feel loved, which is something we all want. He can't help but laugh. Some guys have trouble letting down their guard. They try very hard to seem cool and put together, and are too tough and stoic to show any strong feelings. I understand where they are coming from because I am also self-conscious. But when that's all we get to see of a guy, 
we know we're not seeing the real him. We won't know what he's really like until he lets us see a little bit of himself. That's why it's so nice to see a guy laugh so hard he can't stop. It's a time when he's starting to relax. It gives you an idea of who he is, and what makes him laugh the most shows you what kind of sense of humor he has. Being weak is a very attractive trait. So, if you want to make someone like you, be sure to let your guard down and laugh. Something she said comes up. It's easy to pretend to be with someone when you're not. Ask any woman, and she'll tell you that guys have faked interest pretty well when all they wanted was a better chance of getting laid. Sincere attention is so important. It shows that a guy is not just messing around to get into our pants. It shows that he likes us for real. When you bring up something she said in a previous chat, she might act surprised and excited. For you, it's just something to talk about. To her, it shows that you're paying attention and interested when she's talking. It might seem like a small thing, but it makes her feel heard and valued, which is very important for keeping a link and staying attracted to someone. He allows himself to be shy. Being confident is a very beautiful trait. But a guy who isn't at least a little humble can be off-putting. One way to show that you are humble is to let some of your shyness show. It shows that you're confident enough to be nervous in front of her. Plus, it's super cute and can win over a lot of people. It also means that the flirting and seducing aren't all done by one person. Even meek women like me who want to be chased don't want to feel like we're getting romanced without doing anything. We want to get back at them and show them what we can do. We don't just want a guy who makes us feel something, we also want to know that we make him feel something. When we throw him off his game, we feel like we've done that. No one expects you to act shy when you're not. But you don't have to hide the fact that you feel shy around her if you do. Show her that she worries you a little. No means no isn't enough, he knows. Sexual limits are not up for discussion. But in many hookups and relationships, they are viewed as if they can change. No means no has been the most well-known motto for sexual consent, which is very important. But it's not enough either. Even if you don't want to cross someone's line, you can still bug, prod, and push them to move it. That kind of behavior is not cool at all, but it happens a lot. It happens to a lot of women who are with men who are more sexually driven than they are. When he is sexually frustrated, he might treat sex like a gift he needs to get or like something he is entitled to. When one of these things happens, your sexual life stops being about sexual things. It starts to be about his pride and what he thinks he deserves. Instead of playing with her and making her fall for him, he gets pushy, pouty, or starts to act guilty. Of course, that's not at all beautiful. It makes no sense at all. And it takes away all the fun from something that should be a lot of fun. Even women who love to be chased want to say yes to sex with enthusiasm. Even those of us who love reading sexual books about strong males dominating and controlling women or who enjoy consensual non-consenting porn would rather not have any forced sex. So, chase her with all your heart and want her very much. But always act like sex is something you and your partner are doing together and should be excited about. If you respect her limits, she will think of you as her sex partner and the guy she wants to do all kinds of crazy things with. It means she doesn't have to be careful about what she agrees to and doesn't always have to be the guardian, which is not a sexy job. Most of the time, this is easy to do. All you have to do is change your mind. You don't have to think of her rules as things that stop you from having fun. Instead, you can think of them as the areas where you are allowed to play. Maybe she finds it gross to swallow. She might not want to do anal at all. She might not be into acting or bonding. Maybe it's hard for her to get completely naked in a room with a lot of light. She might only want to go out every two weeks. No matter what it is, it still gives you a lot of room to be close to her, enjoy being with her, and be attracted to her. When you realize this and know how to play in that place, she will feel loved, appreciated, and happy to be with you. All of these things have a big effect on how attracted she feels to him. 
He has nice underwear and socks. Some guys don't put much thought into their socks and underwear. They care about how their shirt, pants, and shoes look, but they don't put much thought into what they wear under them. But you can trust me when I say that she will notice them. You can wear black socks if you want, but this is a good chance to make a strong statement. You can wear brighter colors or patterns, which will show that you gave them some thought and didn't just grab the first pair you saw when you were shopping. And you should have good underwear. There's a myth that women can't be sexually excited by what they see, but that's not true at all. We like seeing naked bodies. When we see a dick, we get excited, unless it showed up in our direct messages without our permission. And when we see a guy in nice underwear, our blood starts to boil. When you're wearing nice boxer shorts, she might not say anything or comment on it. But she will love seeing them when she pulls your pants down. He does things with his hands. There's something really hot about a guy doing something with his hands. Even more so when you can see his wrists. There's something attractive about a guy who does anything with strength, skill, or style. It can be stereotypically strong things, like throwing an axe to split wood, or more delicate things, like picking at guitar strings. So, if you want her to notice you, you'll have to roll up your sleeves and get to work. Need some dough to make her a meal from home, use your DIY skills to build her something, do some repair work on her car or bike. Or do anything else that shows you don't mind keeping your hands busy. When she says something clever, he gives her a smirk. Sometimes it's hard to connect with someone, and it's not because we don't think he's smart, funny, or charming. It's because he doesn't seem to notice when we are. We love a guy who appreciates everything we have, and we look for little signs that he does. Like when we say something intelligent or thoughtful and he seems pleased, but not surprised. When he laughs at our jokes and doesn't just use them as a way to set up his own. When he smiles instead of being straight-faced when we say something smart or funny. Those things will make her feel like she is seen and valued. Not just because she's beautiful and easy to get with. Not just because she's easy to get in touch with and loyal but also, for how smart and funny she is. He gives her kisses in all the right places. When you've been with someone for a long time, you might forget to kiss them. But keeping it going is a big part of keeping people interested. How you kiss her is also important. Where? You can fiercely kiss her lips to show her how much you want and love her. As part of your pre-play, you can kiss her hips, legs, and stomach. You can, and should, put your mouth on her nipples and pussy to make her happy. But kissing her on the face will show her that you love and care about her. It's soft and personal. So is kissing her neck as you hold her close. If you want her to be interested in you, don't forget about them. Keep it going. A lot of guys work hard to make the kind of attraction that happens right away and stops your heart. They want the women they meet to feel like a bolt of sexy lightning just hit them. Fuckboys spend almost all of their lives trying to make that kind of spark. Other guys worry that they won't be able to compete because they don't usually make women feel that way. But it doesn't matter in the end. Every woman loves that first spark of attraction. When we feel like we're being swept off our feet, we get excited. Still, what we want more than anything else is a lasting draw. We don't want our feelings to keep going up and down. We might look at some guys, but that doesn't mean we want to go out with them. And when we like someone, we want to know that we will still like them in a year or two. This kind of draw is essential. And you already have everything you need to make it.